welcome everyone. I guess you're at home enjoying school holidays at the moment. Got a few weeks off school, so hope you have a really good break. Today we're going to talk about welcoming people. How do we welcome people? In lots of different cultures, there's many different ways that people say hello and welcome. At the moment, we're socially distancing, so we can't do most of these things. Some places, people shake hands or they might give a hug. Some places even rub noses. Some of them take a bow and say hello. If you're in Hawaii, they might welcome you by putting a lei around your neck. And that sure would make you feel pretty special getting something like that put on you. We welcome people at church. We have people called welcomers who stand out in the foyer and say hello as everyone comes in. And then they also um, help if there's someone new or someone who needs a hand, they help them. You'll have to look out for them next time when you can come to church. What if you had someone coming to your house? If someone was coming to stay, how would you make them feel welcome? You might race around and do some housework and make sure everything's clean. If they're going to stay the night, maybe you would find, work out what bed they're going to sleep in, make sure you put clean sheets on the bed. You might even put a towel on the bed. I had an attempt at making a, a towel animal. Can you see what sort of animal this might be? It didn't turn out very well, but this is supposed to be a, a swan. So you, you might like to have a go at that. If, sometimes if you go on a cruise ship, you get towel animals um, left on your bed with your towels. So that, that was my little funny attempt. I also attempted a snake, which I think he goes like that. So, so yeah, mine, mine didn't turn out. But if you want to have a go on the internet, there's lots of, lots of ideas of how you can make your own towel animal. Another way I know to welcome people when you, someone comes to your house, you would offer them a drink. Would you like something to drink? And here we'll, we'll have some afternoon tea or a meal together. And these days, often one of the things, especially if you're a younger person, um, is giving them the Wi-Fi password's always something that everyone likes to, to know so they can use your Wi-Fi. But what do you do at school when you welcome someone at school? If someone new was in your class at school, how do you think you could welcome them? Maybe you'd invite them to have lunch with you, sit with you and your group of friends, and maybe then even go off and play together. That would be a nice way to, to welcome someone, wouldn't it? And sometimes, if I've had a new neighbour at home, I've actually taken over a cake or something like that, some biscuits, and go, hi, welcome to our suburb, and just tell them a few things. If they're new to the area, I might tell them when the bins get collected and just other bits of information so that they know a little bit about our area. In the reading today, in Matthew chapter 10, Jesus talks about giving someone a cup of cold water to drink. I think it was when he was sending his disciples around to visit people and he was telling them that that's what they should do. And God always wants us to do, do good things and treat others nicely and not be selfish. And he says, if you do it for one of them, it's like we're doing it for God. So maybe we can think about what could we do during this week that that might be a nice thing that we can do for someone else to make them feel, feel welcome or make it more comfortable for them. So some other people mightn't see, but God will know what we are doing to, to make someone feel welcome. So you might, might like to think about if there's any other things you and your family could do. It could be something, having something, someone over for a meal, or if you've got a new kid when you go back to school after the holidays at, in your class, how you could help them feel welcome. I've put some activities um, that are in an email to go out to your families of some different things that might help you be able to welcome some people, some little fun activities that you can do. So let's have a prayer. Dear God, thank you for welcoming us into your family. Help us to welcome other people. 
and remind us that when we do that, we are welcoming Jesus. Amen. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. God has got the whole world in his hands. He's 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 got Cairns and Brizzy in his hands. He's got Keith and Wyala. In his hands he's got Darwin and Catherine In his hands he's got Australia in his hands He's got the duck-billed platypus In his hands he's got the furry koala In his hands he's got the frill-necked lizard In his hands he's got Australia in his hands He's got Sydney and Melbourne In his hands he's got Hungerford and Cobar in his hands he's got a chuka and yamurka. In his hands he's got Australia in his hands. He's got the mountains and the outback. In his hands he's got the rivers and the beaches. In his hands he's got the bush and the city. In his hands he's got Australia in his hands. God has got the Come on, whole world In his hands he's got the whole world In his hands he's got the whole world In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands And that means he's got Australia in his hands